The first interview I get, that I actually get for another school, and they're almost 40 minutes late for the interview. I forgot that apparently, according to these directors, Korean Standard Time is always about two hours after what Korean Standard Time is actually. Either that or I got ghosted by a school because they said that they wanted me and then found someone else. So... Good. I have another interview tomorrow for a school in Seoul, so... Fingers crossed! But Jeju said no. I can only assume. What's the bet and I'll get an email from the recruiter being like, Oh my god, something came up, they're so sorry, can, can you interview with them now? Ah, here we go. My recruiter. How did the interview go? Bet. In the middle of like my third round of the morning. Like again, I'm understanding and I'm patient. I just don't like being messed around, you know? If something's happening, it's happening. If not, then cancel it. Don't just leave me hanging. I just heard the Jeju school did not contact you at 10. No, they didn't. There was a communication error. Are you available now? I told you. I said, I said this would happen. They would, the, oh, I'm livid. 10.57, they are going to Skype you now. 11.02. No Skype. So they're even, so not only were they late immediately, they're also late on their second chance. Not, this isn't looking good, Judge you. This really isn't looking good. It's a private school. No, it's quite small. I'm the only one. I'm the only foreign teacher, yes. <laughs> uh, no unfortunately. Um, yeah, just about the curriculum. Is it textbook based or is it all just, um, I've forgotten the word for it, um, but is it? Okay, so update. He's sending through a contract. Um, let him know as soon as possible if I'm accepting the job or not. Obviously, I need to tell him about the holiday. I also have another interview for a school in Bundang tomorrow, obviously in Seoul. He didn't really seem interested. He had brought a student with him. He was kind of like talking to the student more than me. I got interrupted um, what, so that he could talk to the student and explain to the student who I was in Korean, not even in English. I would also just like to emphasize here that I don't mean to say that he should speak English because there's a white person present. My thought at the time was that it would be a good opportunity for him to teach his student at the English Academy, even more English, and use the foreign teacher to his advantage. It would have also been good for him to briefly see my teaching style with said student. However, that did not happen. There was no real reason for the student to be there other than to distract him. So, that's what I meant when I said that he wasn't even speaking in English for the, with the student. You know, I I'll need to I I I need to really try and ask about contacting their foreign teachers and seeing how they feel. But I'm happy to take the job if Bundang doesn't want me. Put it that way. So, Baskin Robbins is remaining open. It's just getting a refill. I hope it opens before I move. I'm not kidding. There are kids coming into school wearing padded coats. It's 18 degrees outside. I didn't bring a coat today. Because when I leave, it's going to be 17. I don't need a coat. So why are you coming in with a padded coat? It's not snowing. It's not single digits. Keep that padded coat at home. You're going to sweat. Can't you tell that I'm in a slightly bad mood? <laughs> Can't you tell how much of a bad mood that interview put me in? I, everything is so irritating today. I don't get it. Just even the smallest things are irritating me today. Kids dropping their pencils are irritating me today. And it happens every lesson. I've got something in my eye. It happens every lesson. 
it's I'm used to I'm used to hearing pencils drop and it's not a big deal but it's just it's, it's, it's getting on my nerves hell yeah bitches okay so second interview she didn't tell me if I had the job she was on time and she asked so many questions and she wasn't interrupting she listened she even if I don't get the job I love her <laughs> <laughs> that school just ugh. today should be good today should be good so as it happens um i think we have t well two things one i think we have like 24 cases now of coronavirus in the area which is never it's never been that high before so this is our third wave and our worst wave my building is also having a fire inspection so i pray to god no one comes in my apartment because that's gonna be freaky. Why are so many people in my country losing their shit over a Sainsbury's advert? Yeah, it's not nice not feeling represented. Is it white people? Is it white people? No. They're not represented in one thing and they throw a hissy fit. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Jesus Christ. I just had some digestive biscuits and some of the crumbs fell into my mask. And I worked all the crumbs out, but now my mask smells like digestive biscuits. Good afternoon. Today is Saturday. Um, I am going over to Ali's because we're having a big group Thanksgiving thing as we all couldn't um, go over on, oh my God, what is my fringe doing? As we all couldn't go over on actual Thanksgiving, so we're having a, a, a makeshift kind of Thanksgiving. Um, I don't celebrate Thanksgiving, it's not something <laughs> that I'm used to, it's only two of us in the actual group who do. So um, when Ali was like, hey, make sure you bring, make sure you bring some food, I was like, I don't know how to cook things very well, uh, what do you want? So there's only one thing that I am very confident in, and that is my cola ham. I make it all the time at home, and I'm I'm very good at it. The good thing is, is that at home I have an oven. Here I do not. So I'm I've hit the stage. <laughs> I've hit the stage in cooking, where um I'm experimenting with the microwave <laughs> because I don't know. I'm trying to figure out if I can use the microwave exactly the same as the oven. So I'm putting my ham in for 10 minutes, <laughs> checking it and hoping for the best. So fingers crossed, guys. <laughs> this could turn out to be a giant disaster, in which case I am so sorry. I mean, it smells like it's cooking in an oven. So... Let's let's hope. <laughs> it's so weird. I don't. I'm like, I'm so scared it's gonna blow up. I'm so afraid it's gonna go poof. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> Save me. It didn't explode, but it popped. And <laughs> I've I've never ran to a microwave so quickly. <laughs> give you. Let's give. Let's give you. Okay. So you were on for. Five minutes, five minutes. The microwave oven is a beautiful thing. <laughs> um, I don't know, are you cooked? Are you ready? I'll flip you just to be on the safe side. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh God, oh God. I can't get it out of the microwave. No, let's attempt to flippage. Are you ready for this? Cause I'm not, that is just gonna, oh my God. Oh my God, it's working. <laughs> This is perfect. It's working! <laughs> I mean, like, I feel like I'm a college student, you know? Because they always have to try and make do with what they what they have. I feel like, I feel like I'm a college student. This is very strange to- oh man. Oh man, wait, wait, wait. Let me show you, oh my god. So as far as I'm aware, it's only halfway done in the in the microwave. It only took like five minutes for it to explode. But like, <laughs> that's like a mixture of maple syrup and pork fat, but that's fine. <laughs> Bro, 
Bro! This is very strange, but this is also very exciting. I have some of the juice left that was cooked in. My family always likes having that juice with the meat. How am I gonna get it to Ellie's apartment without it spilling out? I think it's done. I think it's done. Well, that was a success. I am actually super proud of myself. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be able to do it. And I've had a little piece as well and it doesn't taste that bad. It's success! Okay, so my city, the cases are going up, sadly. Um, we're now at 36 when we used to be at zero. Funnily enough, a doctor was the one who brought it in, so uh, <laughs> thanks medical professionals. But just while we're on the subject of COVID and, uh, you know, maybe going into a mini lockdown, uh, I would just like to point out my city are having another rally. Love that. Look, all those people. Mmm, perfect. Like this is one of the things I love about Korea is that even the children are so politically minded and that everybody has a, a sense of duty when it comes to their government and that they have a government that will not necessarily listen to them but will take into consideration what they want and what they've said and what not. And I, I, love, I love that about this country. It's one of my favorite things. However, in the middle of a pandemic, you're about to have another protest, you're about to hold another rally. When cases in this city are going up and up and up, you're gonna have another, you're gonna have another rally. Really? Really? Hmm. Listen, I'm gonna be so mad if I get another job in the, in the country somewhere, and they're like, mm, we need to put you into two weeks quarantine. Like, no, let me work. <laughs> I'm just going in the elevator. <laughs> and I thought I pressed 11. So I shut the doors. I pressed 1 so I didn't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> on my way home from the grocery store just to grab some bits and uh i see a guy forget which car is his and uh once he'd found the car started it up and almost completely backed into a car that was behind him the, the gap was big enough he didn't even need to reverse so uh someone's drunk driving <laughs> 